Boss fight several times, both winning and losing. It's always entertaining to watch. Juan's a real well-rounded guy. Like we said, he's been around a long time. He can grapple, kickbox, jiu-jitsu. Very composed, too. So if you're Chavo, what's your, uh, what's your strategy going into this fight, knowing uh, Maynard's pretty well-rounded? Whether or not I'm Chavo, uh, Chavo, I know what he's going to do. He's going to come out, he's going to throw, throw big overhand rights, swing at some hooks, and he's going to shoot for takedowns. He just tries to bring the fight. So uh, you might even see a head kick from him. He's got, he's got great head kicks as well. But Chavo comes to fight every time. Absolutely the most game guy around. I think while we're waiting for him to come out, it's important to, to note what an unbelievable car we had tonight. I mean, there has been fight after fight after fight. Yeah. Back to the ladies, to the amateurs, all the way through. This has been an unbelievable car Jimmy Vince put together. We have, uh, I think we have like a 70, almost a 70% finish rate so far. Great matchmaking by Sam Kaplan yeah, and uh, awesome. promotion by Jimmy Vince Jr. Just happy to be a part Great of it. Great commentating as well. I, you know, I, I don't say so much. I would say, say so that's myself. That's the best part of the show so far. Maynard's going to look for knees, 
trying to get the, the tie clinch, works the knees. Chavo looks like he's setting up that dirty boxing uppercut. Oh, he just took a nut shot. He took a nut shot and shook it off. That's right, you gotta shake it off. You can't, you can't wait for the ref to come in and save you. You gotta, you gotta go until the ref says stop. Keep fighting until he says stop. Maynard's doing a nice job with those short knees. Yep. Chavo needs to get out of there. He's gotta, he's gotta turn, get some separation. Both the buttons been using the defense with the leg up. Keeps the knees far away. Chavo lands a good knee of his own. I'm with you. I'd like to see him explode out here and get off the cage. He's back to the center. He's got a nice... Chavo with a nice elbow. Great yeah. double leg. Wow. Very nice. Very explosive shot there. Level change. Quick, quick double leg. Maynard does a nice job getting right back up. He got up. Chavo's got the double, double underhooks. Try to pull those hips out from under him. It's been an action-packed fight so far. It's corner urging him to stay busy. You know, foot stops her knees. Front of us, uh, still clinched up, working a lot of dirty boxing the knees. Uh, Big Dan's probably gonna split him up in a, in a little bit. Maynard with a nice right hand. And Chavo's waiting for separation, throw an elbow. Yeah. Maynard throws one of his own. Nice. Got a tight clinch there. Nice. Chavo busted out. This is great clinch fighting, dirty boxing and elbows. This is great. Two high level guys doing high level shit. I'd like to see Chavo get a little bit busier. He looks pretty calm and composed. You gotta think though, when the judges watch this fight, whoever is standing with their back to the fence is losing. Yeah. It's the way the fighter has to think. Cage control is a big, big thing in scoring. Yep. Even if there's not a ton of action going on, you're back to the cage, you're not winning the fight. Yeah. It's tough too because it can be a very comfortable position for back on the fence. There's nowhere else to go, but you can hold yourself up very easily. Chavo landed a knee and ate a right hand afterwards. That didn't appear to do any damage. It's hard to generate a lot of force in the post like that. Chavo shots and elbows were the best. Try to open people up with their short elbows. Ten seconds in the round here. See, uh, see if there's any fireworks in the last ten seconds. Round's about over. Round's about over. I don't know, that was a it was a fairly even round. Chavo got the takedowns. They both landed good strikes. Maynard had more cage control, but Chavo got the takedowns. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give that fight to uh, Chavo. Or that round to Chavo, I'm sorry. This is why I'm glad I'm not a judge. A round like that. Because that is a really, really tough round to score. I mean, I think you could argue either way. Yep. You know. So, so difficult when you're sitting on the stool like that, but you wonder how much these fighters recognize that round really could go either way. You got to win the next two. That's the corner's job. The corner's got to recognize that and uh, make the adjustments. The fighter, as long as the fighter listens to the corner, it should be fine. This is one where you kind of wish it was a five-round fight. Yeah, for sure. Easy for 
me to say sitting over here. Yeah, I don't know what these guys are. <laughs> Chavo with a nice one-two combo. Good answer back. Front kick's great for keeping distance. It's like a long jab, right? For Chavo, the Russian has some good punches. Chavo shot, shot for a takedown, ended up on his back. Uh, Very comfortable on his back now. Just got his black belt from the Machado brothers. Um, he's very good off his back. I saw a recent fight of his, he won from an arm bar from the guard. Um, so look for him to stay busy. The manager's a, uh, a smart fighter, so it's going to be hard to catch him, but if anybody can do it, Chavo can. Very active. Yeah, the elbows and punches. It's important, it's important to stay active with your hips. Keeps the guy on top of hard to uh, set the punch. Chavo's getting good at your distance. Chavo at your distance. Great up kick. Great up kick. Chavo's doing great off his back. It's a, it's a fighting off your back is an art not many people are good at. Um, Chavo happens to be good at it. Now we should work to stand up. Yeah, get on the cage. And it's always best to be on top. Posture up and do a little damage from this spot, but Chavo's doing a great job, like you said, with his hips. Now he's pinned up against the fence, he's got to move from here. There he goes, shooting up an armbar. Submission attempts are important because they keep the guy guessing, they keep the guy off, and he doesn't want to punch if he's going to throw his arm into an armbar. Chavo's not in a great position to finish, but. Took a big right hand there. And Chavo's okay. See him trying to get up. He should, he should use those feet and the hips to kick away. He should kick him away. Yeah, his corner's calling him for the kick away. Great space and hop up. He wasn't able to do it. Maynard goes back to the The second best thing is to pull him in. Maynard's doing good at keeping his hips active too. Chavo can swing for an arm right there. Maynard hasn't really landed anything effective yet. He's controlling the fight for sure, but he's not landed anything effective. No. No, neither fighter's really done any damage so far. Good job by Maynard to pull out of that, recognize it. It's hard to fit. Great nice job by Chavo to stand up. That was a nut shot. That was a, yeah. Pretty good look at that. It was, it was straight from the groin. groin. Yeah, that They'll give him about five minutes if he needs it. Officially started the clock yet, so he's going to let him recover here. Unfortunately, it's just a part of the sport you nowadays. The way knees and kicks are thrown, it's, just, it's going to happen. It's not intentional. It's, Chavo looks like he wants to exchange on the feet a little bit, get out of that clinch. That was a nice break that he got. Oh, oh he just took two kicks to the head, but he's throwing back. 
Very nice combo from Maynard, but Chavo leads it back with three Chavo good punches. Chavo right back. Right, those kicks look hard, but uh, he came right back. He's he answered right, right back. It seems like the kind of guy that once you hit him, it wakes him up. Yeah, he wants, he wants to come right back. to a downed opponent there. I'm not quite sure about that. Maynard's really, really pounding away here. I think that knee did some damage, and I'm not sure it was legal. Stop the fight, Maynard, you're ground a pound. Chavo got hurt with the right hand. And, uh, I want to see down. the replay, Tim. I don't think that was a, a legal knee. I think he kneed him when he was on the ground there. Huh? I didn't even see the name. Set, it was a set right before that happened. I think it was an illegal name. It was close. It was definitely close. I don't know if they'll show the replay here, but I, I'd really like to see that again. 